You may already know that if you directly quote a source in your writing, you need to put the passage in quotation marks and include a citation to show where the quote came from. In addition to citing direct quotes, you also need to cite paraphrases and summaries. Put simply, you need to cite any words or ideas from the source, even if you put the idea into your own words. Let's look at these three methods of borrowing information in more detail. Whenever a direct quote is used from a source, you need to put quotation marks around those borrowed words. Following the quote, include an in-text citation. Refer to your citation style guide for directions on how to create in-text citations. Now what if, instead of sharing a direct quote from this source, you wanted to convey the idea in your own words? Would you still need to cite it? Absolutely. Whether you are including the actual words of the author, or paraphrasing an idea from the author by putting the ideas into your own words, you will still cite the information by including an in-text citation. After quoting and paraphrasing, our third way of borrowing from a source is summary. A summary is similar to a paraphrase in that you are putting information from the source into your own words. The difference is that a summary uses a few words to convey a large amount of information. For example, if I want to reference the movie The Wizard of Oz, I might summarize this hour and 42 minutes of film in one sentence by saying, The Wizard of Oz is the story of a girl who goes on a long journey to another world, as if in a dream. The summary doesn't have to cover everything. In fact, it can't. <laughs>